Um, it's not that runny. The application is very smooth. It doesn't feel heavy or anything on my face. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review of the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I'm using the shade W6 Sun Beige and on their website they have a total of 12 shades of this. This foundation also claims to give you that healthy, luminous looking makeup. So that's what I want to know by the end of the day and see if it's true. I'm in the normal the combination skin tone. I want to try this foundation and see how it does work with my skin tone. If you guys want to see the full review of this foundation, just keep on watching and um, I will go get started. So I put two pump on my hands. The consistency is very thick. Um, it's not that runny and I'm going to use my flat top brush to apply the product and I'm going to apply it. You will see on my left side but this is actually my right side. Um, of my face. I'm just gonna dab my brush into the product. Finish of this foundation could be medium to full coverage. It is very easy to blend. I use a flat top brush to apply it. Okay, so the other half of my face has the foundation. It's just one coat of foundation, but you could see there is a little black spot over there, but um, overall it kind of smoothing out my face and the redness you could definitely see that it lessens a little bit and um, as you can notice there's a lot of redness here on my nose and over here and on this side you could notice that it does lighten Go it ahead and apply one more coat of this foundation it really looks good on my skin it did feel really soft and light on my skin I think the coverage could be medium to full coverage and um, let's go ahead and apply um, the foundation on the other half of my face. I really like how it feels on my skin. It does look it does look a little oily on my skin right now. This is very ideal uh, for everybody out there who has a very dry skin. I have a combination skin. Sometimes, especially during winter, I could be very dry. Let's see if this helps me, makes my face luminous and healthy looking all throughout the day. That's what I want to see um, about this foundation. But as of the moment, it does look... Um, a little bit oily it did cover up some of the redness on my nose i didn't use any concealer or anything to cover those up i just want to see if the foundation will do that for me so the coverage is definitely medium to full coverage how it looks alone by itself i just feel like it's so like glowy looking and very luminous i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and i'm gonna see you after i finish my full makeup and right now it's i don't have my other phone here because i'm using my phone to fill it's around 12 noon um and i'm gonna go ahead and go through my day and do stuff and do some errands and i'm gonna check up on you guys in a couple of hours or so and see how the foundation set on my face I want to also see if the foundation is, um, you know, long wearing and all that stuff. So we're going to find that out later. So I'm going to check up on you guys in a little bit. And for now, relax, sit back, and I'll give you my update in a little bit. Hey everybody, so the current time is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been wearing the foundation for at least 4 hours now and as you can notice my face is very oily on my T-zone and just all over my face. So I'm gonna apply a powder. Yeah, 4 hours of wearing the foundation. It does make my face so oily. I was hoping that it will stay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Lex is sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a little bit better. So I will check up on you guys in a little bit and see if the foundation will... The foundation is still there. Like it's very... my The redness on my nose is still a little bit covered. But um, just the oiliness on my face, that's my only complaint. But... The foundation is still there, my skin is still smooth, and the redness all over my face are still 
covered so that's a good thing so i'm gonna check back on you guys in a couple of hours and give you my final thoughts about the foundation hey everybody right now it is currently eight o'clock in the evening and i have been wearing the foundation for a full eight hours as i could notice i'm just gonna look at in the mirror so i could see um instead of like looking in the camera because it could be appear really different from um what i've been seeing in the mirror so my face, I noticed that it does, it is it is getting oily again. So you could notice the redness um, is coming out. The black spots over here, you can see it. And my face is definitely getting more oilier, but it's not as oily as the first update that I gave you guys earlier. And also, I noticed if I go close up to the camera, as you could notice here, there's like dried patches over here. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm allergic to the foundation because I have been feeling a little itchy right on this area. And as you could notice, there's a little bumps there. And also over here, like a little dry patch over here. Um, around my mouth, it's definitely getting red again. And over here as well. And my T-zone is very oily, as you could notice. I could still see a little bit of coverage, but not as much as the first time I applied the foundation. So for the full 8-hour wear of the foundation, it will wear off for sure. My final thoughts about this foundation, I would continue using it. And it does give me that uh, very glowy and doughy effect on the first couple of hours of wearing it. I wouldn't recommend this for anybody who has very oily skin you have a normal to dry skin i would recommend this to you the finish that it gives me at the very beginning i really like because it's smoothing out my complexion it covers all the redness on my face without using any um concealer prior to applying the foundation so if i probably did use a concealer prior to this foundation it will probably be covering my um redness on my face a little bit longer so i think this foundation is great if you're just wearing it for a short period of time and if you have you know like dry to normal skin overall i would repurchase this foundation i would totally use it for everyday use but not for long wearing but i'm not really fully in love with the foundation just because i don't like my face getting so oily and i have to like keep on you know like applying powder and stuff and stuff like that so for everyday use this is yeah, good. that's my thought about this foundation i hope you guys like this review and if you have tried this foundation tell me what your skin type and how does it work for you thank you again for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you on my next video